Question 551. Which of the following is not the ground for driver's license revocation? Answer, driving at a speed over the limit of 60 km per hour. Question 551. Which of the following is not the ground for driver's license revocation? Answer, driving at a speed over the limit of 60 km per hour. Question 552. Revocation of a driver's license from excessive accumulated demerit points can be disputed. In which two of the following circumstances can such a dispute not be made? Answer 1. History of a driver's license revocation within the last five years answer to History of an administrative penalty mitigation through objections to liberation committee review within the last five years. Question 552. Revocation of a driver's license from excessive accumulated demerit points can be disputed. In which two of the following circumstances can such a dispute not be made? Answer 1. History of a driver's license revocation within the last five years Answer 2. History of an administrative penalty mitigation through objections to liberation committee review within the last five years. Question 553. Revocation of a driver's license from drunk driving can be disputed. In which two of the following circumstances can such a dispute not be made? Answer 1. Driving with a blood alcohol concentration of 0.12% or higher answer 2. History of drunk driving within the last 5 years. Question 553. Revocation of a driver's license from drunk driving can be disputed. In which two of the following circumstances can such a dispute not be made? Answer 1. Driving with a blood alcohol concentration of 0.12% or higher answer 2. History of drunk driving within the last 5 years. Question 554. Which of the following is correct about lanes designated for specific purposes? Answer A9 say a car carrying at least 6 people can use the bus only lane on an expressway. Question 554. Which of the following is correct about lanes designated for specific purposes? Answer A9 say a car carrying at least 6 people can use the bus only lane on an expressway. Question 555. Which of the following is correct about the load standard of cargo trucks? Answer Length limit the length of the vehicle plus one tenth of that length. Question 555. Which of the following is correct about the load standard of cargo trucks? Answer. Length limit the length of the vehicle plus one-tenth of that length. Question 556. Which one of the following is not an institution or facility that can be designated by the Provincial Police Commissioner as a traffic safety training institution? Answer. An institution or a facility founded and operated in the same place within three years of having its status as a traffic safety training institution revoked. Question 556. Which one of the following is not an institution or facility that can be designated by the Provincial Police Commissioner as a traffic safety training institution? Answer. An institution or a facility founded and operated in the same place within three years of having its status as a traffic safety training institution revoked. Question 557. Which of the following is not an illegally fitted device? Answer. Emergency lights attached to an emergency vehicle. Question 557. Which of the following is not an illegally fitted device? Answer. Emergency lights attached to an emergency vehicle. Question 558. What happens to an unlicensed driver who hits and injures a pedestrian crossing the crosswalk? Answer. Regardless of whether you are a holder of a comprehensive insurance policy or a member of a mutual aid association, you will face criminal charges. Question 558. 
What happens to an unlicensed driver who hits and injures a pedestrian crossing the crosswalk? Answer. Regardless of whether you are a holder of a comprehensive insurance policy or a member of a mutual aid association, you will face criminal charges. Question 559. Which of the following is correct about the vehicle types that have access to express bus only lanes? Answer. A passenger car with a seating capacity of nine persons may drive in the lane if there are more than six persons on board. Question 559. Which of the following is correct about the vehicle types that have access to express bus only lanes? Answer. A passenger car with a seating capacity of nine persons may drive in the lane if there are more than six persons on board. Question 560. Which of the following is a traffic situation where a motor vehicle must drive slowly? Answer, an intersection where the traffic signal light is flashing yellow. Question 560. Which of the following is a traffic situation where a motor vehicle must drive slowly? Answer, an intersection where the traffic signal light is flashing yellow. Question 561. Which of the following is correct about the purpose of the Act on Special Cases Concerning the Settlement of Traffic Accidents? Answer. To help damages caused by a traffic accident to quickly recover and to make matters more convenient and beneficial for the people. Question 561. Which of the following is correct about the purpose of the Act on Special Cases Concerning the Settlement of Traffic Accidents? Answer. To help damages caused by a traffic accident to quickly recover and to make matters more convenient and beneficial for the people. Question 562. What is the maximum speed limit of a four-lane, two lanes in each direction road? Answer, 80 kilometers per hour. Question 562. What is the maximum speed limit of a four-lane, two lanes in each direction road? Answer, 80 kilometers per hour. Question 563. What are the maximum and minimum speed limits respectively of a motorway? Answer, 90 kilometers per hour, 30 kilometers per hour. Question 563. What are the maximum and minimum speed limits respectively of a motorway? Answer, 90 kilometers per hour, 30 kilometers per hour. Question 564. Which of the following is an area in which one must drive slowly under the Road Traffic Act? Answer, on a curve. Question 564. Which of the following is an area in which one must drive slowly under the Road Traffic Act? Answer, on a curve. Question 565. Which of the following is the correct description of the penalty or action that would follow a traffic accident in which the driver hits an elementary school student crossing at a crosswalk without pedestrian signal lights? Answer, driver is subject to criminal prosecution as it is considered an exception of special cases specified in the Act on Special Cases Concerning the Settlement of Traffic Accidents. Question 565. Which of the following is the correct description of the penalty or action that would follow a traffic accident in which the driver hits an elementary school student crossing at a crosswalk without pedestrian signal lights? Answer, driver is subject to criminal prosecution as it is considered an exception of special cases specified in the Act on Special Cases Concerning the Settlement of Traffic Accidents. Question 566. According to the Road Traffic Act, which of the following does not constitute unlicensed driving? Answer, a driver practicing driving on the roads with a learner's permit. Question 566. According to the Road Traffic Act, which of the following does not constitute unlicensed driving? Answer, a driver practicing driving on the roads with a learner's permit. 
Question 567. According to the Road Traffic Act, the use of a motor vehicle found to be in poor repair may be suspended within dash 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 days of the initial discovery. Which of the following best fits in the brackets? Answer 10. Question 567. According to the Road Traffic Act, the use of a motor vehicle found to be in poor repair may be suspended within dash 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 days of the initial discovery. Which of the following best fits in the brackets? Answer 10. Question 568. Which two of the following correctly matches light signals with their meanings? Answer 1. Flashing yellow light. Vehicles and horses can proceed while being mindful of other forms of traffic and safety signs. Answer 2. Green arrow shaped light vehicles and horses can proceed in the direction the arrow points. Question 568. Which two of the following correctly matches light signals with their meanings? Answer 1. Flashing yellow light. Vehicles and horses can proceed while being mindful of other forms of traffic and safety signs. Answer 2. Green arrow shaped light vehicles and horses can proceed in the direction the arrow points. Question 569. Which two of the following belong to the type of vehicles according to the Road Traffic Act? Answer 1. A dump truck. Answer 2. A road stabilizer. Question 569. Which two of the following belong to the type of vehicles according to the Road Traffic Act? Answer 1. A dump truck. Answer 2. A road stabilizer. Question 570. According to the Road Traffic Act, which two of the following drivers are considered as assisting police officers? Answer 1. Drivers who have the best driver designation. Answer 2. Firefighters guiding firefighting vehicles responding to emergency. Question 570. According to the Road Traffic Act, which two of the following drivers are considered as assisting police officers? Answer 1. Drivers who have the best driver designation. Answer 2. Firefighters guiding firefighting vehicles responding to emergency. Question 571. According to the Road Traffic Act, which two of the following are places where traffic lanes can be installed? Answer 1. Inside a tunnel. Answer 2. On the bridge. Question 571. According to the Road Traffic Act, which two of the following are places where traffic lanes can be installed? Answer 1. Inside a tunnel. Answer 2. On the bridge. Question 572. Which two of the following are violations of the legal speed limit by passenger cars? Answer 1. Driving at the speed of 85 km per hour on a four-lane, two lanes in each direction, road. Answer 2. Driving at the speed of 95 km per hour on a motorway. Question 572. Which two of the following are violations of the legal speed limit by passenger cars? Answer 1. Driving at the speed of 85 km per hour on a four-lane, two lanes in each direction, road. Answer 2. Driving at the speed of 95 km per hour on a motorway. Question 573. Which two of the following correctly describes street edges? Answer 1. They should be installed in order to secure the safety of pedestrians. Answer 2. They should be installed on roads without separate sidewalks. Question 573. Which two of the following correctly describes street edges? Answer 1. They should be installed in order to secure the safety of pedestrians. Answer 2. They should be installed on roads without separate sidewalks. Question 574. Which of the following statements about a special case as per the Act on Special Cases concerning the settlement of traffic accidents is correct? Answer. If the driver of a vehicle receives a criminal penalty for a traffic accident, he or she is subject to not more than five years of imprisonment or a fine of up to 20 million Korean won. Question 574. 
Which of the following statements about a special case as per the Act on Special Cases concerning the settlement of traffic accidents is correct? Answer. If the driver of a vehicle receives a criminal penalty for a traffic accident, he or she is subject to not more than five years of imprisonment or a fine of up to 20 million Korean won. Question 575. According to the Road Traffic Act, which of the following is not a wheelchair to aid walking standard medical equipment as approved by the Minister of Food and Drug Safety? Answer. An electric bicycle. Question 575. According to the Road Traffic Act, which of the following is not a wheelchair to aid walking standard medical equipment as approved by the Minister of Food and Drug Safety? Answer. An electric bicycle. Question 576. Which of the following statements about novice drivers is correct? Answer. A novice driver is someone who received his per class 1 driver's license for ordinary motor vehicles less than two years ago. Question 576. Which of the following statements about novice drivers is correct? Answer. A novice driver is someone who received his per class 1 driver's license for ordinary motor vehicles less than two years ago. Question 577. Which of the following is a correct definition of motorized bicycles according to the Road Traffic Act? Answer. A motor vehicle with a displacement of up to 50 cc. Question 577. Which of the following is a correct definition of motorized bicycles according to the Road Traffic Act? Answer, a motor vehicle with a displacement of up to 50 cc. Question 578. A foreigner without a Korean driver's license has caused a traffic accident resulting in injury or death due to his or her failure to drive safely. What is the penalty under the Act on Special Cases Concerning the Settlement of Traffic Accidents? Answer, criminal penalty, regardless of the desire of the victim to press charges. Question 578. A foreigner without a Korean driver's license has caused a traffic accident resulting in injury or death due to his or her failure to drive safely. What is the penalty under the Act on Special Cases Concerning the Settlement of Traffic Accidents? Answer, criminal penalty, regardless of the desire of the victim to press charges. Question 579. Which of the following is not a traffic accident as defined in the Act on Special Cases Concerning the Settlement of Traffic Accidents? Answer. Injury of a pedestrian hit by a train on a railroad crossing. Question 579. Which of the following is not a traffic accident as defined in the Act on Special Cases Concerning the Settlement of Traffic Accidents? Answer. Injury of a pedestrian hit by a train on a railroad crossing. Question 580. Which of the following is the correct definition of stopping according to the Road Traffic Act? Answer, a driver keeping his vehicle stationary for no longer than five minutes. Question 580. Which of the following is the correct definition of stopping according to the Road Traffic Act? Answer, a driver keeping his vehicle stationary for no longer than five minutes. Question 581. Which of the following is a correct definition of overtaking according to the Road Traffic Act? Answer, taking the position in front of another vehicle by driving past it. Question 581. Which of the following is a correct definition of overtaking according to the Road Traffic Act? Answer, taking the position in front of another vehicle by driving past it. Question 582. Which of the following is not a vehicle as defined by the Road Traffic Act? Answer, a motorized bicycle. Question 582. Which of the following is not a vehicle as defined by the Road Traffic Act? Answer, a motorized bicycle. Question 583. 
According to the Act on Special Cases Concerning the Settlement of Traffic Accidents, which of the following is a speeding-related accident? Answer. An accident caused while driving at 82 km per hour on a two-lane, one lane in each direction general road where the speed limit is 60 km per hour. Question 583. According to the Act on Special Cases Concerning the Settlement of Traffic Accidents, which of the following is a speeding-related accident? Answer. An accident caused while driving at 82 km per hour on a two-lane, one lane in each direction general road where the speed limit is 60 km per hour. Question 584. What is the configuration of horizontal four-lamp traffic lights as defined by the Road Traffic Act? Answer, from the left, red, yellow, green arrow, and green. Question 584. What is the configuration of horizontal four-lamp traffic lights as defined by the Road Traffic Act? Answer, from the left, red, yellow, green arrow, and green. Question 585. Which of the following is not a document required by the Road Traffic Act for the verification of aptitude test requirements? Answer. An eyesight test report issued by the President of the Optometrists Association. Question 585. Which of the following is not a document required by the Road Traffic Act for the verification of aptitude test requirements? Answer. An eyesight test report issued by the President of the Optometrists Association. Question 586. Which of the following can be designated as an emergency vehicle by a provincial police commissioner at the request of the organization that will use the vehicle? Answer. A vehicle used for electric wave monitoring. Question 586. Which of the following can be designated as an emergency vehicle by a provincial police commissioner at the request of the organization that will use the vehicle? Answer. A vehicle used for electric wave monitoring. Question 587. Which two of the following are requirements for emergency vehicles? Answer 1. Emergency vehicles used for security services for domestic and foreign VIPs are not required to use a siren or a light bar. Answer 2. An emergency vehicle must activate a siren or light bar to qualify for the privilege of thoroughfare priority. Question 587. Which two of the following are requirements for emergency vehicles? Answer 1. Emergency vehicles used for security services for domestic and foreign VIPs are not required to use a siren or a light bar. Answer 2. An emergency vehicle must activate a siren or light bar to qualify for the privilege of thoroughfare priority. Question 588. Which two of the following is correct terminology defined by the Road Traffic Act? Answer 1. A vehicle line refers to a boundary marked by a safety sign for the distinction of vehicle lanes. Answer 2. A sidewalk refers to the part of a road demarcated by a curb for thoroughfare by pedestrians. Question 588. Which two of the following is correct terminology defined by the Road Traffic Act? Answer 1. A vehicle line refers to a boundary marked by a safety sign for the distinction of vehicle lanes. Answer 2. A sidewalk refers to the part of a road demarcated by a curb for thoroughfare by pedestrians. Question 589. On a pebble road, a bicyclist is ahead of your vehicle. Which of the following is the safest way of driving? Answer. Keep a safe distance and reduce your speed to prepare for a possible accident. Question 589. On a pebble road, a bicyclist is ahead of your vehicle. Which of the following is the safest way of driving? Answer. Keep a safe distance and reduce your speed to prepare for a possible accident. Question 590. When you are entering an intersection with no traffic signal, you find a bicycle entering the intersection from the road on the right side. 
What is the safest way to drive in this situation? Answer, make a momentary stop before entering the intersection and proceed after the bike gets out of the intersection. Question 590. When you are entering an intersection with no traffic signal, you find a bicycle entering the intersection from the road on the right side. What is the safest way to drive in this situation? Answer, make a momentary stop before entering the intersection and proceed after the bike gets out of the intersection. Question 591. When following a bicycle, which of the following is the biggest risk factor? Answer. The bike may suddenly change lanes. Question 591. When following a bicycle, which of the following is the biggest risk factor? Answer. The bike may suddenly change lanes. Question 592. What is the safest driving practice when a bicycle is ahead of you? Answer, you must maintain a safe distance as bicycles tend to fall over. Question 592. What is the safest driving practice when a bicycle is ahead of you? Answer, you must maintain a safe distance as bicycles tend to fall over. Question 593. You are at a stop at an intersection and a bicycle is ahead of you. How should you safely resume driving when the light turns green? Answer. Allow the bicycle enough time and distance for it to move ahead. Question 593. You are at a stop at an intersection and a bicycle is ahead of you. How should you safely resume driving when the light turns green? Answer. Allow the bicycle enough time and distance for it to move ahead. Question 594. When there is a person ahead trying to cross a road with a bike, what is the safest way to drive? Answer, from a safe distance make a momentary stop so that the person can cross safely. Question 594. When there is a person ahead trying to cross a road with a bike, what is the safest way to drive? Answer, from a safe distance make a momentary stop so that the person can cross safely. Question 595. Which of the following is the safest way to drive on a road bending to the right when a cyclist is traveling ahead of you on the right-hand side of the road? Answer. Drive at a reduced speed while maintaining a safe distance from the cyclist. Question 595. Which of the following is the safest way to drive on a road bending to the right when a cyclist is traveling ahead of you on the right-hand side of the road? Answer. Drive at a reduced speed while maintaining a safe distance from the cyclist. Question 596. Which two of the following are cases in which a bicycle can travel on a sidewalk? Answer 1. When a child is riding the bicycle. Answer 2. When an elderly person is riding the bicycle. Question 596. Which two of the following are cases in which a bicycle can travel on a sidewalk? Answer 1. When a child is riding the bicycle. Answer 2. When an elderly person is riding the bicycle. Question 597. Which two of the following statements about cycling are correct? Answer 1. Unless specified by a safety sign, two or more cyclists must not ride side by side on a road. Answer 2. When crossing at a crosswalk, a cyclist must dismount and push his bicycle across. Question 597. Which two of the following statements about cycling are correct? Answer. 1. Unless specified by a safety sign, two or more cyclists must not ride side by side on a road. Answer. 2. When crossing at a crosswalk, a cyclist must dismount and push his bicycle across. Question 598. The law on the promotion of the use of bicycles states that persons under the age of dash 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 may not drive an electric bicycle. Which of the following answers is correct? Answer 13. Question 598. The law on the promotion of the use of bicycles states that persons under the age of dash 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 may not drive an electric bicycle. Which of the following answers is correct? Answer 13. Question 599. 
on roads without a bicycle lane. Where should cyclists travel? Answer as far to the right edge of the road as possible. Question 599. On roads without a bicycle lane, where should cyclists travel? Answer as far to the right edge of the road as possible. Question 600. Which of the following is the correct way for a cyclist to travel if riding along the edge of the road would impede pedestrian thoroughfare? Answer, ride slowly or make a temporary stop. Question 600. Which of the following is the correct way for a cyclist to travel if riding along the edge of the road would impede pedestrian thoroughfare? Answer, ride slowly or make a temporary stop.